fun background story. So when I was like really little, I walked into this movie in the living room and I was like, oh, that's Bella, that's Bella from Twilight because that's like what I knew Chris Stewart from. And my little self said, hey, Chris Stewart, you're really pretty in this movie. So when I was like little, I had like the biggest crush on Chris Stewart in this movie, you know, this movie, not Twilight. So yeah, I, I had a thing for Kristen Stewart from Panic Room. Panic Room. Released in 2002, directed by David Fincher, continuing my David Fincher series, with a screenplay written by David Kep, which I had no idea until after watching this movie. And by the way, before getting into review, can I just say this right now? If anyone out there is working or is in contact with Blu-ray Central, who make Blu-rays, who like, we need this movie on Blu-ray, hey guys, why is Panic Room not on Blu-ray? The only way to get this movie is like on DVD or Amazon Prime or all that kind of stuff. This movie was on TV about three weeks ago. So what sucks is me reviewing this movie now, I watched this movie three weeks ago on TV and it was on regular TV. So I'm at a huge disadvantage here, but Blu-rays, hey guys, Panic Room, David Fincher movie, um, why is it on Blu-ray? This film stars Jodie Foster, Kristen Stewart, Forrest Whitaker, and Jared Leto, and is about a divorced woman and her diabetic daughter take refuge in their newly purchased house's safe room when three men break in searching for a missing fortune. So like I said, I watched this movie weeks ago, and that sucks for me because I wish I had like a refresher to watch it before reviewing. So sorry about that, but let's continue on the review. Um. I like this movie. This movie is, it definitely reminds me of Don't Breathe. Don't Breathe was a movie that came out 2017? 2014? I don't even remember. 2017, right? Either way, it was a small movie that made a bunch of money, a lot of people liked, and it was a cool concept, and of course we're getting a sequel now, all that kind of stuff. But that's what this movie reminds me of, because Panic Room, for being 2002, was a cool looking movie with a cool story, good acting, and entertaining movie for an hour and 50 minute movie. And I agree, this movie to me is very underrated. I really dug this movie a lot. The three robbers are Forrest Whitaker, Jared Leto, and Dwight Yokeman. Totally fucked up his name, sorry, but he's in Sling Blade, and I'm pretty sure, isn't he Buffalo Bill from Sons of the Lambs or something like that, isn't he? I don't even know. Either way, these three are robbing this house, and they're trying to get this fortune, and of course it's in the panic room, which they're in. And this entire movie, they're trying to get in there, and they're trying to get them out of the house, and try to get the police, and it's thundering, and it's stormy, and it's all in one night. I just, I really like this setup of this movie, and I think David Venture directs the living shit out of this movie. This is one of his best directed movies. Like, I would rather him direct this movie and watch the structuring of a movie than watch Curious Case of Benjamin Button direction. I love the camera usage of going through these houses, through the cities, and yes, it's CGI effects and how the camera's going through certain objects and stuff like that, but it's really cool. Might be used like a tad bit too much, but overall, David Venture directs the living shit of this movie. He's a just great director in the editing, and like I said about Fight Club, little tiny story points that build up to this really entertaining ending. And this movie is nothing special. There's not a humongous twist. There's not like anything like that. The movie is simple with three robbers who are trying to get this fortune, which of course is in the panic room, and they have a good motivation. It's a good reason why they're getting in there. It's not a great thing because they're robbing a house, but you, you pull for these robbers. You're like, you know what? If you get the fortune and get out, I hope you get away until we get, you know, more depth in the movie that Jared Leto is kind of an asshole and Dwight Yokeman is a complete asshole, but Forrest Whitaker, you, you really just want to give him a hug and be like, here, get, get away. And like I said, the movie is nothing humongously special. It is a simple story with simple good acting, great editing, and a very intense hour and 50 minute movie, which leads to a really solid ending. And again, I really just like this setting. I like the story. Stormy ass night. These men are in the house. These two are stuck in the panic room. And what they get themselves into is very intense, exciting, and it leads to an awesome ending that I really, really like. It's, it's a simple movie. It's entertaining. If you ever get a chance to watch it, please watch it. And don't watch it on regular TV because, you know, cuts out all the good stuff. I'm going to give Panic Room a B. It really is probably David Fincher's most underrated movie. Like, out of all the movies he's made, this one's probably his most underrated, 
or is it the next one that we're viewing, which is Zodiac? Hope you guys have enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.